Uh, I'm only in for a partial day today. <clears throat> My dad had meetings in the city today. He didn't pick me up until uh, a little afternoon. Actually, I think it was more along the lines of one. I'm here until five, basically. One thing I forgot to mention, I'm giving my dad computer lessons. He's basically computer illiterate, and I'm trying to change that. Basically so I can talk one-to-one -to, -one to him about, like, Amiga stuff and, uh, programming stuff, whatever. Yeah, anyway, he's giving me 20 bucks a session. The only real reason I came in today was to give him a lesson today. I'm gonna be teaching him about basic. I admit I'm a screaming hell at, uh, programming, but, uh, <laughs> I know how to use the print statement and input statements and get statements and for and next loops and all the basic, basic stuff. So I'll be teaching him uh, that. And I have, uh, anyway, yeah, so you're my dad computer lessons, 20 bucks a session. Uh, Mindy and I are going to see uh, the Twin Peaks movie today, or tonight, uh, which is why I actually want to give my dad a lesson today because I don't have any money. It being Bargain Tuesdays today, or Hot Ticket Tuesdays, whatever they call them. I remember when they used to be $2 Tuesdays. Now they're 4.50 Tuesdays. <laughs> Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, you know. Okay, air conditioning coming on. Hang on a second. Yeah? Oh, maybe you had a girl in here or something. No. <laughs> um, oh, you were doing a thing. Yeah. Um, you're going to uh, see that movie tonight, eh? Yeah. So you want to get out of your relative you already. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, up to here with uh, my affiliate uh, reports. Uh -huh. You said no problem. He did. Oh, yeah, good. He said pads so. off. So I talked to him. So I'll um, I brought anything you want. Okay, what about Lenny? Uh, how much do you need? Uh, I don't know. Careful now. Careful. Probably about 20. That's uh, when I came into it. More likely 40. Okay. I'll, better. Uh, <clears throat> I'll um, make a note of all this. I mean, you've got what? So far, you've got $20 in advance. you got $60 in advance. It's either going to come out in the form of tutorials uh -huh. or off next pay. Yeah. Oh, um, sorry about this. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, no, that's great. I'm going to put that in the car right now, so yeah, you know, probably flammable. Eh? No. No. Okay, thanks. That was my dad, who just graciously handed me forty dollars. <laughs> and uh, the other guy you heard there, I don't think you saw him, was Dave, who I uh, told you about earlier. Anyway, that's about it for now. That's all that's been happening. Not much, as you can see. I'm uh, going to the movie. Mindy wants her brother and uh, a female friend of ours to come with us, but I was kind of hoping just Mindy and I would go and we could make it sort of like a date, you know, but uh, she's rather insistent about this. She invited her brother without asking me. It's like, hey, I'm part of this relationship too. Why don't you ask me, you know? Like maybe I don't want anybody to come along, you know? Like what about my opinion? <laughs> she does that from time to time, doesn't... Uh, give any consideration to my opinion, or, uh, you know, to asking me if maybe I don't want anybody to come, or if I do want anybody to come, and if so, then ask the person. Don't ask them and just assume it'll be okay with me. Yeah. Oh, we went to a bar yesterday, uh, one here called Club Soda. I didn't really enjoy it all that much. Uh, I'm not a big bar person myself. It was noisy. My ears were, like, plugged for about two or three hours after leaving the bar. That's how loud the music was. It was like freaking concert level, you know? It was ridiculous. I'm not picking my nose here, it's just itchy. <coughs> oh, God. I've had uh, some kind of virus for a while. I think I mentioned it to you before. Ever since living at Mike's, I've had this virus. I don't know if he had it or it's a result of his cat, or Mindy's mum's cat, or anybody's cat, I have no idea. Because anytime I'm around cats, I get uh, really stuffed up, which is a shame because I like cats, and cats like me, and uh, unfortunately I'm really allergic to them. Anyway, I met uh, a few friends of ours who we haven't seen for a while, and others that we've seen fairly recently, you know. Got to meet the boyfriend of the girl who's coming to the movie with us tonight, 
or the, pardon me, the ex-boyfriend of the girl who's coming to the movie with us tonight. The girl who's coming to the movie with us tonight, her name is Lori, and her ex-boyfriend's name is Sheldon. Uh, I'd heard a lot about Sheldon and stuff, and uh, nothing good, really. But anyway, I met him finally last night, and he was actually a pretty nice guy. And frankly, I was surprised. <laughs> but uh, I didn't have any money, so it's like, I don't mind going to the bar as long as I have some money, right? Like, uh, when I go to the bar, I like to have a few drinks. Well, I didn't have any money, so I couldn't have any drinks. We went with another ex-boyfriend of Mindy's called, uh, named Albert. He's in the army. He's just in town for a few days. And uh, wanted to go to the bar, so he invited Mindy and me. So we went, and uh, he bought me a couple of beers, and uh, and Sheldon bought me three Blue Freezies. No, not the Mr. Freeze things. These are actual drinks. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. Uh, I actually didn't know what it was called until last night either. I mean, I knew there was some blue drink you could get, but I didn't know what it was called. Anyway, it's called Blue Freezy. Had three of them. Uh, it was quite good. No, I didn't get drunk. Uh, I find my tolerance level for alcohol has increased somewhat. Which is a shame, because, you know, it's nice to be able to get drunk fast. <laughs> I'm not so much drunk, just a little tipsy so that, you know, loosen up a bit. But, uh, you know, I didn't. Well, that's okay, no big deal. Try not to be drunk to have a good time. Anyway, so I, did, I didn't really have a like, great a time last night. I shouldn't have even gone. But, you know, well, yesterday, uh, because I was being picked up late today, I was hoping that Mindy and I could stay home, just to, you know, have a nice night together, do whatever, you know, because I was I would be able to stay up a, little, uh, a bit later, you know. But uh, she didn't want to. She was insistent upon going to the bar, so she did, and I figured, well, what the hell... Better than staying home alone, so I went with them, and actually I think I would have had more fun staying home alone. <laughs> I think it was mainly just because I didn't have any money. If I'd had some money, I probably would have had a better time. But uh, Aside from drinking, I see no point to bars, personally. I don't really enjoy them very much. I've been to a couple that I've liked, but not many. Most of them are just too noisy and too crowded and just, you know, too irritating. I just don't like the crowd. I don't like the mood. I don't like the atmosphere. I don't like the volume of the music. Like, I don't mind listening to music a little bit loud so sometimes, but not so loud that it hurts, you know? I don't like listening to music like that. Rod, line one, please. Oh, yeah, that's a call for Rod, the fellow who's picking me up. Or not picking me up, driving me home. Anyway, I've been talking for way too long, so uh, I'm going to get back to Rise of the Dragon. And, uh... And I'll talk to you later. Bye.